The America's Cup is the oldest competition in international sports history. It started in 1851 as the Guinea Cup. The America's Cup is named after the first yacht to win the America and was a trophy that was um, put in trust to the New York Yacht Club. The America's Cup for me as a sailor, this is what I was born to do. It's a unique game in, in that all your eggs are in one basket. Yeah, the boat's able to create enough power to get up out of the water, um, reduce the drag of the hull and go up into the foils and with that comes more and more speed. And next thing you know, the boat's doing 40 knots. Pretty exciting. The car that won this year's Indianapolis 500 had the most uh, 3D printed parts on it. You know, it's clear where we have to go. Working with Stratasys gives us a competitive advantage because of the quick turnaround. The boat will come in at the end of the day and then the sailors and the engineers really work to develop the next piece of equipment for the next day on the water. I can have someone come to me with something that we need for the boat. They'll tell me what is needed from the part. I'll CAD it that afternoon, put it on the printer for overnight and hand them the piece in the morning. This part we 3D printed, it's a fairing for where the um, bobstay, which supports the bowsprit, goes in and meets the hull. And so we just needed a fairing to fill the uh, cavity in the boat. So this piece clips on both sides, screws top and bottom, and then slides down into that cavity to fair the hull. The machine was able to print this overnight, whereas traditionally this would have been a um, you know, two-day process for uh, a guy to actually construct. What I look for in materials first most is weight, because our boat has to be a specific weight. It cannot be heavier than X. Any gram that we might be able to remove from another component, we can add a system that will give us knots of boat speed faster when we're racing. Our second constraint is strength. So I can't say anything about the materials I use from Stratasys's tool set, but I have not had any issues finding a strong enough material for all of our applications. We're in a competition of design. The fastest boat's gonna win the regatta, and having everything be perfect is critical to the development of the boat. From every little detail, we do the 3D printing prior to it going into the yacht, and that way they can make sure the assembly of it is bang on. A factor that helps us a lot working with Stratasys printers is their precision. So I can CAD a piece to be a certain diameter and it will be that diameter. So I don't have to iterate on simple things like fit or um, piece size. I don't have to add a tolerance, test the tolerance, add another tolerance, test a tolerance. I can CAD a fit and that will be that part. I don't have to be on site next to the printer. I can be next to the boat, wherever the boat may be. So I will often CAD a part turn it into a printing file, and send it to the printer remotely. For me, when I'm eating dinner at night and I'm watching all the video of the day, and it's like, wow, this thing is going. I mean, it is, it, its hair is on fire pretty much from the time that we leave the dock till uh, the time that we tie her back up. And so that part of it's incredibly exciting. You know, the U.S. lost the regatta last time to Team New Zealand, and the New York Yacht Club hasn't had the trophy sitting in the foyer of 44th Street since 1983. So I can assure you we're motivated.